No, actually, no time travel. No. I grew up in Luxembourg, but my parents are from Holland. I've been living here now for like three and a half years. Uh, and I moved here because like in my previous band, there was a Polish singer. Like we met, me and, me and the drummer, we met her in Denmark. And uh, via Holland eventually we ended up to uh, recording an album here. And while recording we got some interest from labels here and stuff and we thought it could be cool to to move here, I always really loved this place. Like I felt really attracted to Warsaw, and we thought it'd be cool to release the record here. So we moved here, and that was like three and a half years ago. Sometimes I'm reminded of that sleepy feeling I thought I left behind. This was like a different atmosphere for me than, than things I was used to in, in Holland, for instance, or Denmark, where I was living. It has something to do with this clash that you have here between kind of old and new. Like, you really feel that in the city, you have these really old, like, communistic buildings or, like, factory buildings like this one, and then very modern things going on. And I think it's also, like, in this location between sort of the more Western Europe and, and the more Eastern vibe, and that really comes together here. For me, there's just a very creative atmosphere here. A lot of people with a lot of energy to prove themselves and to discover new things. I think that's, that's kind of what I felt even when I came here for the first time. A lot of people here want to make just cool music that is not necessarily commercial. And yeah, also because Poland is such a new market and it's, it's like, especially for the kind of alternative scene, it's, it's still fairly undefined. Uh, so people don't have this like rigid way of thinking about it. And, and, that, and that for me also opens up a lot of like doorways to being creative and to making music. And I think that that is kind of defining for the scene here, that people are just not sure where things are going and everyone's kind of excited about that. So it's a pretty underground, maybe punkish indie bar. Uh, we don't make drinks. I mean, we pour vodka and then we pour, I don't know, Coke. So that's basically our job. <laughs> we give people beers and get money for this. <laughs> because it gives me lots of space and time to do other stuff, which is making music, basically, playing with people and, and writing songs. Although it's not well paid and sometimes it's just terrible. I'm like almost 30 and sometimes I think, Jesus, I don't have like any savings at all and any insurance of any kind. It was the same with me. <laughs> and I work hard. Right? Have fun. <laughs> I don't know, at, at least I'm here with all these uh, this wonderful people and we make cool stuff. Smashed all the windows, took all my clothes, tore them apart. So all is gone, the blink of the minute. I used to have something, but now it's gone. It seems so undone, now it's done. industry is still like when it comes to where the money is and where the contacts are it's still quite commercial and for artists that are you know that make more alternative stuff they don't get you know many opportunities to really get out there even even in Poland I chose to live here so I obviously have my reasons to to like the place because people struggle they have this energy to really um, 
make the most out of themselves and out of their music, and that's something that uh, that I didn't find in Holland, for instance. In my opinion, Poland at the same time has something great to offer, but is also, yeah, it is a difficult place. It's a harder place to, to make something of yourself. A lot of the, the musicians I've met, I think, have really some, something original and something that, you know, should, should be heard abroad as well, if they would just get a chance.